Dusk shouts in elated excitement. The engine hummed. It didn't have a lot of battery, yet with the sun high overhead, those photons would slowly be captured. When was the last time a vehicle ran in this city? Well, as of now, it's today, and Dusk can be proud of that fact. Coming back down from the high of victory, she plans the next step. The vehicle will need to be reinforced. She will need to weld plates onto it. And for that, she will need a welder. Perhaps she has most of what she needs. Among the various books and knowledge that she's attained so far, but no doubt, some things will be missing. Some things will need to be sought, and so she shall. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, No Hope. And I paused there because, well, maybe we do have some hope. We have a working vehicle now, and I would love to be able to kind of drag this uh, little wheelbarrow along with us, but unfortunately, we won't be able to. Uh, so, we need to try and get this thing back home as best we can. And it looks like we're going to be able to reverse pretty much straight out and follow this farm road down. And that should lead us pretty much the entire way back towards our home, or, you know, very, very close to. And having the car closer to home means that we're going to be able to just, you know, work on it there instead of here. And we also have that other broken down car that's there, so we're going to be able to make use of that as well. Yeah, I'm very, very happy about this. 3% fuel, that's not massive. That's not a massive amount of charge, but it started both times right away, and we're ready to go just like that. Oh, it's already on 1%. <laughs> and now it's on zero. Okay, it's probably going to need a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to need some more time, Dusk. That's fine. That's totally fine. Let's just make sure. I mean, let's check the vehicle electronics here. Oh, there ain't much to it. And it failed to start then because, yeah, it's on, it's on zero. Okay, okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be the victorious drive back home just yet, but I mean it's here. That is the main thing, and I'm so, so happy about that. We're going to delete that old note that's here. We've still got it marked on the map, and I think even while we're waiting for that to kind of um, charge up, we're going to be able to start to take apart the car that is down back at home. And let's just quickly make our way back down towards there. Here we go. And having a look at this car here, it's pretty much destroyed. It does look like there's maybe a few things on here that we might be able to try and recover. They're, they're, not, in, they're not in great condition, man. There's, there's next to nothing here. We've got a frame, we've got a bike rack here, though. Uh, we might be able to do something with that. There's a, there's a few bike racks on this. Uh, there's some roofs, there are some frames, an integrated heater, but all super, super damaged. Uh, there was another vehicle just over this way here that's in kind of okay condition. So we could have a look at trying to get that um, taken apart. But yeah, the first thing that we need to try and think about is making a welder. Um, and that's not that's not an easy thing to do by any means. Um, we should have access to all the books that we have on our tablet PC. But just in case we're missing out on anything, we'll be next to these books here as well. We're going to go into our crafting here. Yeah, if we go across here to the asterisk, we can just mark everything as red. So we are looking for a welder of some kind. And it does look like we have a few different options here for welding wire, welding masks. And hey, would you look at that, a makeshift arc welder. We actually have the knowledge, well, no, that's a lie. <laughs> We're missing electronics. Um, so we would need to do a little bit of electronic uh, learning to be, able to, to be able to get there. I'm surprised we don't have everything that we need there, but with the stuff that we've got around us, we should be able to get those things. Uh, however, electronics. Oh, sorry, that's a lie. We have an electronics of three. I'm not sure why it was showing up. Maybe it was saying, actually, I don't know what it was saying. Oh, we have a practical level of zero. That makes sense. We have a theoretical knowledge of three at the moment. Okay, so there's a strong chance that we'd probably screw this up if we give it a try. But, you know, I think we want to try and get most of the things that we need to be able to make it put together first of all. Power converters, scrap metal, copper wire, plastic chunks, all those things we should be able to get from here. Let's just go and turn on our flashlight for a moment, and then let's have a look at maybe trying to take some things apart. The disconnected oven, for example, that can give us quite a few things. Heating elements, copper wire, etc. It would take us 45 minutes for us to take it apart, but I think I'm okay with us doing that. 
All right. And so we have even more things from that that we can then take apart. I think the 80 copper wire will be the thing that will take us a little bit to, to get, but we'll see what we can do here. Well, you know, <laughs> we probably don't need to have all of these C4 hacks and grenade hacks. We can get basic AI cores, we can get some C4 explosive out of it, which I think just in general, having some C4 would be super useful. Hopefully, this doesn't accidentally, uh, you know, explode. This is also getting our electronic skill up at the same time, which is great. So we got some C4 explosive out of that, got some RAM, an identification module. That's not half bad. We're not getting any wire from that exactly, but we might be able to if we take some of the other bits and pieces apart. Oh, we can get 100 copper wire from taking apart the power drill, which right now I don't think we need. Although maybe I should just have a look at some of the other things first because there might be some things here that we are just holding on to for the sake of it. Yeah, no, we'll take it apart. That'll be 30 minutes for us to do that. Oh, and we can probably put this away now. And thinking about it, we should probably not be using our flashlight at the moment. If anything, we should probably just be using our smartphone. Yeah, let's go and activate that. Okay, so far we've got the scrap metal, we've got the copper wire. We just need some more duct tape, some power converters. The duct tape we've seen in a few different places. We can also make duct tape as well if we need to. But the power converters, we should definitely be able to get them from something else here. Hmm. Well, we certainly could get some from our UPS. Would we want to try and take that apart now, though? The other option would be taking apart this power storage CBM that we have down here. I don't like the idea of taking apart CBMs, just because we have no idea how rare they may be. I think we'll go for the UPS for now, because we do have the mech suit that kind of also works like a UPS. We missed a few things there, but it certainly got us closer. And now all we need is duct tape. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, just some duct tape. Oh, and it looks like it might be a little bit more complex to make duct tape. So trying to find some of it, I think is going to be the easiest thing for us to do. So then, where do we go to try and find some duct tape? Honestly, the subways are probably the best bit. Now we don't want to try and do that alone. We are most certainly going to want to have Elliot along for the ride. But speaking of riding, before we do any more of that at all, we do have some horses out in the field still, and I do believe that Dusk should be able to ride them just fine now. Oh, we were wielding a heavy battery, huh? Okay, let's just drag that back inside for the moment, and let's go see if we can bring them over towards the stable, just for their own safety. Okay, yeah, so we do have the one that's up here, and there is a gate up towards the top. All right, so we're gonna climb over that one. You know what? Actually, in saying that, they're probably safe out in this field here. I would like them to have a bit of space to run around in. So, yeah, I'll just go grab the ones that are a little bit further away. The ones that we've already befriended. Oh, survival skill of four. I could have sworn that we had a survival skill that was higher, like five. I mean, we do. It's our practical skill level. Okay. All right. Well, that's fine. We're not doing that then, I guess. So instead, we will pop back here for now, and let's go see if we can wake up Elliot. See how he's uh, doing. See if he's had any changes, you know? Wake up Elliot. Let's go. And, I mean, visually, it doesn't look like there's anything that's different about him right this second, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. He's still suffering from scurvy, the poor bastard. Nothing new from what we can see there. But, you know, we're gonna keep an eye on him as we carry on. And Elliot, oh yes, we do have a new knife for you, don't we? Um, you're trying to, you, you want to sleep. I know you want to sleep, but uh, you are going to be coming with us now, right? Let's see, yeah, we do have two uh, marine bayonets on us at the moment. So let's talk to you. Let's say we would like you to use this item and we'll give you the bayonet that isn't currently in our sheath. That one there. And you seem pretty happy about that. Good, good. So follow me downstairs. There we go. Okay, he is with us. And we are going to be making our way up towards the subway station in the hopes that we're going to be able to uh, find just a little bit of duct tape. Oh, Plague Vector, what are you? Oh god, okay, it's a giant cockroach. It's, I think it's killed some of the dinosaurs nearby. Yup, are you kidding me? You're still alive. You are looking kind of menacing. Feeding on the undead for some time and has started to mutate chaotically. Yeah, you've just killed... Oh, I mean, they're not... I thought they might be juveniles, but I don't know if they are. That's a ridiculous amount of meat. 
Um, maybe we do want to try and pop back here. You, we're just going to try and pop. Mind Hammer does its work. It is well and truly dead. Now, these things are going to come back to life in just a little while, so we kind of don't want to dawdle here. Um, oh, yeah. Elliot's also got some human meat in the smoke shack that's currently, uh, smoking. So, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that, Elliot. Don't you, don't you worry about a thing. Okay, and th oh, that's a juvenile sauropod zombie. Okay, let's go this way, brother. Away from that for now. I know we could probably take it. It is just a juvenile after all, but I would rather we just leave that for now and focus on trying to make it up here towards the subway station. Now, I'm pretty sure that we cleared our Epping or close to, so we should be able to go through here relatively safely i mean there is a zombie hunter that's coming for us right now so maybe we want to get ready to fight let's go and get an electrical discharge going and just move back here strike out towards it a few times we do have our uh, force unarmed on so we've got that working for us some homeopathic pills i don't know if they're gonna help us no so let's just stick to the footpath we will get safe mode on and spot a decayed zombie somewhere well, okay, we're not going to leave you alive, no. We'll just wait here, give you a few good pops, and that'll do it. A cell phone. Hmm. Okay, and the subway. Heading in that direction there, we do have a firearm on the ground here. Carbine, that is very, very damaged. Okay, and heading down below. Oh, actually, I kind of want to take out that pupating zombie before it becomes too much of a problem. Um, but we are going to have to deal with these others first. So, the firefighter... You are going to be first. Let's take you down. Move up towards this one. Oh, well, there we go. Let's go and mind hammer the one that's in the front. It wasn't enough. Let's back up. Elliot, you're going to need to do some work here. Uh, we're going to mind hammer the one in the back. That is enough to do it. Elliot got that one. Nice work, brother. There we go. Let's catch our breath. We've spotted a zapper. It is pretty close. We should be safe here. We will see. Ah, uh, we still get zapped. So, not 100% safe. I mean, we do know that's the case, but I know it's debated sometimes as to whether or not our galvanic armor protects us entirely from being shocked. Let's catch the breath, and let's head down to that little storage supply room and see if we can get lucky with some stuff. I mean, there's a duct tape wallet here. I mean, surely we could take that apart and get some duct tape. Uh, I don't know if we want to resort to that just yet. No, nothing here. Okay, that is unfortunate. I guess we are resorting to that. <laughs> so, we'll go and activate... Well, there's a cell phone that we just picked up. Cool. And let's just search for ducks. Okay, we can't disassemble the wallet. Maybe we can just butcher it then. Let's see if that's an option. Move it onto the square here. No corpses to butcher. Don't seem to be able to do anything with it. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's keep that cell phone with us just for light purposes. And plan what we want to try and do to try and track down some duct tape. <laughs> Now it's a general supply thing, so we can sometimes get lucky and find it in places like the light industry that's up here. Now I have marked these as explored. I would imagine that I would have left them unexplored if there were still some things there that we might want. I don't think I would just pass up duct tape because it is quite a useful thing to have. Then again, saying that we did visit a whole load of different um, garages and stuff like that, and I wasn't looking for that at the time. So, looking at Epping, is there a chance that we could find duct tape here still? We haven't actually checked these houses along the northern edge of town, so there's a possibility that there still could be some useful things in those homes. So, I think we will head on outside and have a little bit of a, a little bit of a look at them and see, see what we can make of them. Um, you know what, we'll actually start off with this house that's just down here. We'll keep safe mode on, just in case anything pops out at us, and we'll see what we've got going on. There is a basement in this one so there's a possibility that we can find some stuff generally we are going to want to try and search in the kitchens because that's where you're going to find duct tape that or sheds or other places like that but alas nothing so far but we have spotted a huge boomer outside so that's going to make quite a bit of noise when that goes because it can't actually get inside at the moment we can't quite get it from this angle just yet so moving up a little bit further let's try a mind hammer okay we actually lose our concentration on that slamming again it's not enough to kill it it's going to take quite a bit so we might end up out of breath here Okay, we don't have enough stamina to take it out yet. Oh, it does try to get us there. Let's just move back just so it can't uh, easily hit us. And as soon as we have enough stamina, we will uh, we'll take it out. There we go. Okay, moving back up. Mind hammer. Wow, that is a lot of bile. 
Okay, Dusk, nicely done. We'll catch our breath. We generally want to try and do that when we're a little bit further away because of all the noise that had just created, but we've cleared so much of this town that I'm feeling relatively confident. And we also killed that zombie Hulk in the last, so I don't think that there's going to be anything massive around us. Let's eat some more smoked meat. We started getting a little hungry. And we're going to head into the back of this property here. I will head down in just a moment, but we're just going to check the bedrooms first here. A pair of elbow pads, and they're in good condition as well. So are ours. And I don't think Elliot really likes to wear armor that is strapped over the top of him, so we won't do that right now. Yeah, not much else. Okay, so we are going to go down below, and there is a zombie here waiting for us. So let's take that out. There is another, and an acidic zombie. Okay, there we go. That's you taken care of as well. Right, so anything down here, huh? Doesn't look like it. Nope, pretty barren basement. Let's not go into the acid. Let's just take a step upstairs. We'll mark this house as explored and we'll move on up towards the north. Oh, we're spotting a mossling? A dog-sized mass of lichen and plant matter ambling on a series of short limbs. It looks around the forest floor for fallen leaves to eat. It does say it's from Magicalism, but I don't know if it's a mag Magicalism monster. It may be, possibly. Um, the zombie's attacking it. Interesting. Can I try and help it? I mean, because it's, it, it, it's a dog, right? We've got, oh, the dog food's gone rotten. Yeah, damn. Okay, that's unfortunate. I don't think we're gonna be able to try and um, tame it. Okay, well, we've got a survivor zombie here <laughs> that Dusk really just didn't care about at all. Okay, we'll let this zombie make its way on over towards us. We're not using too much at the moment in the way of martial arts. We're just using our basic skills. And over here, we have a crazed survivalist grasping a sharp blade. This feral prepper has an athletic physique, a sign that they train extensively before turning feral. In addition to remembering how to use a flashlight, their survival instincts seem to kick in when critically harmed, causing them to act in self-preservation, unlike most of their fellows, a survivor even when they have lost their mind. Okay, we're gonna go and give you a little bit of a force shove, send you back towards the building. They were hurtling for a while there and we did do some pretty good damage to them. They're tracking at the moment, so they haven't decided whether or not they actually wanna try and hit us again. Let's just take a moment to study them. Dusk and Elliot start to make their way closer as it lunges towards Dusk. She sinks her fangs in and slashes at it with her claws. The survivalist is dead. So we are going to take that battery from you. The tactical gloves, mm, we could always turn them into being fingerless gloves, but they take quite a bit to repair. So I think we're fine. We are gonna smash those remains though and see what's going on in this home here because I think this is where they came from. This is their house. There may be traps in here. Oh, we got a paramilitary zombie down here. Okay, all right, so let's just be cautious. We don't wanna get overwhelmed here. A good one, two, three there. We'll try and keep that up. We're not doing too much damage because they have decent armor. We're gonna take a step back. Elliot, anytime you wanna take a step forward, my brother, that would be great. Let's get you moving there. Thank you very much. We are out of the sunlight now. Doing damage to this thing. It's trying to do damage to us, but it fails. Okay, that's two down. And we can hear something outside. Nothing of use on the paramilitary zombie. Let's just open that. Oh boy, okay. They're kind of coming in from every angle. And we have a feral dwarf there as well, who's probably gonna start chucking rocks at us in just a moment. Yep, there we go, there's the rocks. Okay, you wanna make your way inside here, buddy? Let's pummel them. Little difficult to hit, but we got there in the end. Smash the remains, check the corpse, and we'll do the same for these ones here as well. We will have to try and figure out what's making that racket, but what's this? It's a tear gas sprayer. Okay, unfortunately, not gonna help us all that much. Let's go move this body out of the door, just so that we can get it closed up. We can't do anything about that window right now. We'll see what we have over here. Sweets for your sweet child. Okay, all right, well, I don't actually think that we have that as a book, so sure, we'll, we'll pick that up. Checking here, it looks like it's just soap and stimulant. What a party. Okay, and in the kitchen, some ammonia and a dish towel, okay. We do have a fire extinguisher. We can't find their bit straw. They don't seem to have much of one. They do, however, have an electronic gun safe that we can crack into and under the hood, which I do believe we already have. Yes, yes we do. Okay, let's just check the bedrooms. There is a survivor zombie just chilling out, waiting in here for us. We'll move back towards Elliot so that we can attack in tandem. Alpha male quarterly. 
didn't help you. That shady zombie did though, that jumped out of nowhere. Okay, and what have we got down here? Stiletto heels. I think someone revived down here at some point. Left some of their stuff behind. Single pot still Irish whiskey. It's tempting to take with us, but we're gonna pass it by for now. And oh, where did you come from? I have no idea, but they just lit up that flashlight. We're gonna go and bounce you off the wall just to begin with here. I, I think we did. Oh yeah, no, we bounced you off the wall all the way back there. Let's go and pull you in towards us. Far hand will bring you nice and close. And then dusk, yeah, get attacking taking out the feral and light survivor gloves and they were in really good condition as well we are going to pick them up if we can turn them into being fingerless ones that would be super super good we're going to take that flare plastic and polymers projects for the classroom i don't think we have that book so let's see about putting that into a pack uh no actually we have read it so that means that we probably do have it um yeah okay Oh, some items were not picked up. Okay, so let's make sure that we get those gloves. Pair of light survivor gloves. Put them into our pack. Excellent. Okay, we actually have them now. Okay, so down here, the electronic gun safe. Let's go give ourselves some enhanced strength. Give a second for our stamina to come back. Oh yeah, we're damaging it. Dusk bringing her telekinetically enhanced fist down on this thing. is just slamming it. And there we go. What's inside? nothing <laughs> okay well sometimes there is going to be nothing but right now we can actually see a giant cockroach making its way up the stairs towards us and it's not the only one no doubt there are more we'll smash those bodies and get our breath back before we head downstairs there is another roach making its way up and let's get smashing rest and now we'll make our way down oh there is a roach in the way and it did actually manage to get a little bit of an attack on us smash that one as well and basement's super messy we may still be able to find some interesting things down here and we kind of have we've got a talking doll a glass bowl and a brazier just locked up in these display cases interesting hmm like is the doll a collector's item maybe we've got some battle hammer over here and what have we got going on in the back room not much going on we'll go in oh we're slaked at the moment yeah sure we'll still drink the soda why not and we'll play with the uh lamp stand here you never know you never know we may find another magic basement we're going to grab those four memory cards because that could be more recipes for us and did we fully we did check down there okay that's yet another home we have cleared okay onwards and the good thing about checking houses like this is that there's always a possibility that you're going to find something that you didn't know you were actually looking for um as long as you can remember it's there or if you grab it or even better if you have a thousand eyes that can remember where that thing was that's very helpful for now though we're going to make our way across the road towards this other home we can see a feral dwarf somewhere We've got a zombie down towards the south at the moment. Are we going to be able to get this open? It is already open for us, and it looks like this place was under construction, so we may be able to find some useful construction materials in here. We've got some posts. We've got a, yeah, an unfortunate crawling zombie there that I'm not going to leave crawling around because that's just cruel. Through here, we've got a metal file set, which we already have one of those, I do believe. Indeed, we do. So, we don't need to worry about that then. Just more planks We've got a hammer and what's that in the corner a paint chipper okay and in here a whole lot of nothing so no basement in this home not much of anything so we'll go to the home that's just the south as soon as we deal with that zombie there and then see what's going on i don't know if he found some keys recently but we just unlocked that locked door very easily we also have a sealed gelatin dessert how lovely and I saw a roll, it's a foil roll, not what we want. We'll check this garage though, just try and smash this down using our regular strength. And let's see, cement powder, okay, and a damn survival knife. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not the best knife in the biz. There is a warehouse spider around here somewhere. <laughs> it's probably done damage to the zombies that are outside, the ones that are dead. <sighs> House is very barren though. Yeah, okay not much to it mark that as explored and now we've only got a few more for us to have a look at here i am hoping that this house might be a little bit better off i mean i can see that one of the doors inside is damaged but we've got all of these metal um bars all over it which is kind of interesting blackberries growing in the backyard and hmm 
Let's see. Okay, that's well and truly locked, but that's never stopped us. Um, what is that? Oh, it's a plow. Interesting. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mark that because that's that's a useful piece of tech there. Let's just say uh, plow. Yeah, so that we know it's there if we need it. See, that's what I was saying. You may find things that you didn't realize you needed or you may want eventually. Oh, okay, we do have a zombie in here still. Let's destroy this door so that they can come and greet us. We'll take that from you and we'll also take those calcium tablets too. Excellent. Okay, oh, we don't want you to pop. So let's get over towards you as fast as we can. There we are. And I don't think there's anything in this bathroom that is worth going in here for. So yeah, we'll leave you to it. We'll check out the rest of the place here. The extension cord I'm definitely tempted to take. So let's chuck that into our pack because I think that's something that we're going to be able to make use of eventually. All right, another taken care of there. And we can go upstairs. So let's do it. Looks like it might be a kid's bedroom here, possibly. Bathroom has some aspirin, yes, and it also has some alcohol wipes as well, which we're gonna put into this pack. We will just take them out of the box though. Oh yeah, we just grab them that way, that works too. Looks like there might be something in this room here, so we will smash down the door. We've got a mystery novel, uh, some extra painkillers, cigars, hmm. We can do without them for now, we're, we're, we're okay. And a towel, all right. Back downstairs we go, another house cleared. Oh, you know, a house that had a plow. Let's go out the front door, see if this warehouse spider wants to greet us. I think it's far enough away. Yeah, it's, it's way on the other side of the road right now, so I am not concerned about it. Um, okay, so this isn't actually a house. Right. Oh, we should definitely check out the shed. So we, hopefully we've got enough to be able to do this. Let's get that strength going. And we'll get our breath back before we try it. Mmm, damn. Do I still have the mace on us? I don't think we do. We do have C4, but I feel like that might be a little bit of overkill. We could just try and pick it. I mean, we'll see how long it takes. We can pick a... Okay, okay. <laughs> we can pick way faster at the moment. Uh, let's also stop concentrating. There we go. That's good. Wow. What the hell happened here? What is all this? This is just glass shards everywhere. In a wetsuit? Um, I, I do not... I do not know what, what happened here. I, I have no idea. Um, yeah, is it like some kind of home alone trap? But just for the, for the shed? I'm not sure. This is a weird home. <laughs> this is a weird home. Uh, but anyway, there isn't actually a house there. We only have these few here left for us to explore. So let's make our way across towards them. Um, what was at the end here? What's that? It is, it's a roadside food cart. Doubt we're gonna find anything cool, but you never know. And hey, Elliot, you picked up a friend there, buddy. Let me help you with that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's check that front seat. Chewing tobacco. Eh, we're good. We are good. Just check the restrooms. You never know. We might find something. And behind here, we've got peppermint patty and a rotten cookie. Let's just eat the patty. We are full at the moment. We can we can fit a little bit more in us. Yeah, nothing here. That's all right. On to the homes. We'll have to deal with the zombie cop first though. So let's just go back towards Elliot. Hey, do you remember the time that you destroyed a security guard with a shard of glass in your hand that, you know, broke multiple times and it took months for your arm to recover? Yeah, yeah, good times. Ooh, another two-way radio. Okay, so this is what we want to try and give to Elliot. So let's just say we want to trade and we want to trade him a two-way radio. Um, so we'll give him the one that we've got at the moment, and then we'll just pick up the other one off of the ground. So now we should be able to communicate with him from a distance because we've both got those radios. Uh, let me just trial that out. To a radio, ah, uh, with the cable? I don't want to do anything with the cable. I just want to use it. What? I'm very confused. Attached to a vehicle controls or appliance. Can we not just use it? Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on there. Don't want to attach it to anything, but that's that's fine. Hopefully we can figure out exactly how that's meant to work before too long. Um, okay. Not much over the side of the house, it seems. Oh, this isn't, this isn't a house. This is an office. Okay. Well, there's a possibility that, you know, duct tape it as a office supply. We may be able to find something here. We have to smash our way through some of it. Oh, and we're hearing some activity as well. A singular aspirin. We'll take it. And, oh, and who knows? We might have something in here. There's definitely something moving around outside. I think it's probably the warehouse spider. Unfortunately, nothing in there. Yeah, no, not much to this, really. No upstairs either. 
So the office is a bust over towards the home. Now this home here has been boarded up, so we may have some interesting things. Uh, something has broken out of it though. Hello there, let's make sure that we take you down. It was a postman, I see, I see. Okay, let's get rid of that crawling zombie there too. There we go. And, okay, while it has been sealed up, I can see some junk on the floor, so it looks like it's also kind of been turned over. Still, we will have a look at it. And we found some medication in here and some adhesive bandages, alcohol wipes, things that are useful and that we'll definitely be taking. We'll just be sure to put them into our pack. Okay, Elliot, let's keep on keeping on. Ooh, basement. Okay, good to see it. Quite a bit of canned food in the kitchen. Okay, I mean, that is useful. We'll take as much of that as we can. Get it? Can? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we can take pretty much all of that. Ooh, okay. We've got another boarded up space here. So let's just go and activate our hammer because we can just take the uh, planks off that way. There is a safe in the corner, so I think that's gonna be worth us smashing. So let's engage those muscles and start slamming that thing. There we go. Okay, and in here, antipsychotics. Okay, Elliot, uh, we'll take the actual bottle itself and we'll get that traded to him. Here you go, we've actually got cool, well, we got quite a few. Um, let's give you all of those. There you are, enjoy those, Elliot. And let's start to make our way down towards the basement. Let's just peek first of all, seems okay so far. We'll also just get our uh, breath back as we make our way in here. There is a zombie that we're going to just throttle before our telekinetic strength returns to normal. Some caffeinated chewing gum in the bathroom, sure. And, okay, we do have, well, I was going to say it's a hidden door. It's not really hidden, but, oh, okay. That's strange, an underground pool. We'll get back to that in a second. We'll just uh, check out the rest of this. I guess it's not unusual, right? It's just not lit up right now. Um, still, a basement pool is, is, is a little weird. Protein powder on this one here. Got an arcade machine. Okay, just a utility cupboard. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's see what's going on in the, uh, in the pool room. Ah, another flotation vest. We could give another one to Elliot if we want to try and swim a massive distance, but I think generally if we were going to try and do something like that, we would do it in breaks. That's also just like a lot of lose. Oh, hi. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you in there. You were very, very quiet in there. Yeah. A little, little bit of a bizarre basement. Let's head back upstairs. And we got two more places to check out here, folks. Oh, boy. <laughs> and it's a busy spot. It is a very busy spot. Okay, so first of all, this thing needs to die as fast as possible. Uh, and then, then we have, um, well, trouble. Trouble making its way on over towards us. Trouble that we want to try and face in this window if we can, ideally. The bestial stalker seems to be having trouble getting in here. Okay, we probably want to try and drop this. But you know what? Let's just launch that bestial stalker away. It's going to come back towards us. We'll launch it back again. And then we'll just deal with anything that tries to poke its head through here. Okay, we've got one more. An acidic zombie. And another regular zombie. Oh no, there, there's a few. There's a few. Okay. Well, now they've got to step into acid as well, which makes it even better. Unfortunately, we did have to take down a kid there. That spitter is a little bit of a problem. We'll go and knock that away. Okay, <laughs> that was very fast. Decayed zombie just kind of uh, dissolved there. Ooh, a black ops zombie. Okay, make your way on in here. Okay, it's got a pretty good grip on us right now. It's hard for us to do damage. We are just going to launch that back towards the acid. Take on that tough zombie there. And how are the numbers looking now? We've got one regular zombie that just died in acid. Okay, what do we got? What do we have amongst all of these dead? A load of things, but nothing super useful. The antibiotics we will definitely take from them. And then we'll just check the others that are down here. The Black Ops zombie had absolutely nothing on it at all. We're just gonna have to wait here. We'll turn on safe mode as we wait for the acid to kind of disperse. We've got another pupating. We had another pupating crawler. <laughs> we no longer have that pupating crawler. Um, okay, let's mind hammer that thing as it comes around the corner. Do it again. There will be one more though. So let's just turn on safe mode and wait for that to appear. Oh, oh, a vigilant amalgamation. Well, howdy. What are you doing? Zipping around here making deafening screams. We don't like that. Hello there, my, my dwarf friend. Let's go use fire hand to pull you into the acid, and then we are just going to uh, do our best to, wow, just get absolutely wrecked by you. What is going on? Let's force shove you back against the wall. Damn, that was, um, that was brutal. 
Yeah, we were getting staggered all over the show then. Staggered off balance. Yeah, he was hitting us with a crowbar. And he was hitting us pretty well. Our dodge is is decent right now. Actually, no, it's not. I, I lie. It's probably it's always still staggered. That's why. I think once you get one staggered on you, you are um, you're in a bad way. So yeah. The amalgamation has been spotted again. It's going to take a bit before it's able to kind of get towards us. Still waiting on this acid, huh? Okay. Yeah, we took way too much damage by the Feral Dwarf then. Let's just go around the other side. That seems like a plan. Don't know why we didn't try sooner. Oh, so that's a nice hedge maze that we've got back here. Is that... Oh, it is marked on the map. I see. Okay, well, we did want to check and see what was going on with this home first, because this is where all the dead came from. Okay, we are just going to try and smash the zapper. Um, we lost our concentration. Okay, so let's just try and slam you against the wall instead if we can. It's going to be a little difficult to do where we are at the moment. We're actually not going to be able to do it from this position here at all. That's still a considerable amount of dead. Okay, let's try that from here. And we didn't really do any damage to you at all. That is unfortunate. Elliot, thank you for dealing with that problem. Much appreciated, my friend. Okay, let's take out the others and then make our way in. Skeletal zombie here will be a little bit more difficult for us to penetrate, but we get there in the end. Just a regular zombie here and a shriekling that I would love Elliot to take out, but it was dusk this time. All right, distressing pain and our arm is aching a bit. We have got to start to be a little bit more cautious here because we're not using any martial arts, but then again, we've got Elliot with us. <laughs> and these these two are just deadly. We'll take that antiseptic, thank you. We'll actually probably apply that uh, liberally to our arm as soon as we kind of get clear of these homes. Okay, it seems like these homes are kind of joined together. It's a bit of a duplex. Let's see if there's anything in this one here. They kind of rearranged the kitchen here a little bit and didn't leave much behind. Nope, yeah, it is, a, it's a mess. And now that's explored. Now we just have a hedge maze um, <laughs> that we can wander around in. Hello, hi, let's, uh, let's go and destroy this meat cocoon here, huh? Yeah, there we go. We do actually have something back here, an insect sample, I see. And a backpack that's been discarded. We'll take that sample, why not? Hello there, boomer. Let's see if we can boom you from a little bit further away. Lost our concentration again. There we go, that'll do it. Oh, and we have an amalgamation right here. And what is that? A gazing ball. Uh, okay. A mirrored glass globe mounted on a cement pedestal. It wraps your reflection when you look into it. Is that a, is that a normal thing? I think it might just be a normal thing, possibly. Let's try and slam the amalgamation. Now the amalgamations, I'm pretty sure, do heal over time. So let's just make sure that it is final. Hello there, Raven. Um, okay, let's just wait a moment here. And we've got another amalgamation. Did that come out of the ball? I'm not sure. Um, Elliot, yeah, you scare that thing away. Let's just wait here. We've got our breath back at least. Were you just hanging out down here by the ball? Maybe. A little hard to tell. It's it's quite damaged now. There we go. That'll do it. Okay, what else is dead here? Oh, cat. Okay, um, I think this is just, I think it's just a normal thing. I want to try and see if we can take it apart though. Deconstruct furniture? We don't seem to be able to. Can I destroy it? Uh, yeah, seemingly we can. So we are gonna try and destroy this thing. There we go. Mirror ball has been shattered just because it kind of creeped dusk out. It's been a while since she's directly looked at her reflection as well, I can imagine. Oh, another amalgamation. There's so many of them around here and I think it's probably because the other one is here and that must in turn be kind of uh, exciting them. There we go. A force shove deals with that one though. And moving over this side, we'll just see if there's anything else here. There is the same raven, but that's about it. Okay, Hedge Maze has been explored and still haven't found what we were looking for. Well then, okay, so who would have thought that duct tape would be the thing? Now there is a possibility that I could have also passed by some duct tape in the office tower here. So uh, let's just make our way on over towards it and see. Howling dog. The underbelly of this undead canine expands and contracts arrhythmically, almost like it's breathing. Despite that, it's clearly in an advanced state of decomposition. Its snout and throat appear far too large for its species, and the remains of its eyes appear to be much more analytical than its brethren. So they're kind of like feral dogs, I think. So they'll be kind of like the cuspated dog that we've seen recently. It is probably going to start howling before too long. Um, yeah, it's just barking a lot, trying to get attention. <sighs> All right, well, we can't have that, can we? A mind hammer does its work. 
As the dead shamble towards Dusk and Elliot, let's get ready to face them. Taking down the fat zombie first, we have a decayed zombie stumbling towards us that Elliot quickly, quickly runs through. Okay, so that's the uh, the town hall there. There may also be some things there, but, um, oh, oh, there's under the office tower, which we haven't had a look at. Okay, I think that's probably worth us having a look at, eh? Elliot, okay, you're with me, good. All right, take you out. Uh, is that smoke? Hazy cloud, okay, I thought it could have been a smoker. It may not be. Okay, we have a way up, and I'm imagining this is just, yep, elevator. Let's remove the skeletal zombie, and that's a zombie hunter through there. So let's just go through this way for now. Check out some of the cars that are in here. Who knows, we may find something that is looking okay, or something that we can just take parts from. Got a regular zombie, had a regular zombie. Okay, and we do have a vehicle here. Extinguisher, rubber hose. Where is that hunter? We know it's down here somewhere. Another car, not great condition. All right, let's take that hunter out. Laptop computer on you and some uh, some spicy mead. We could take the battery from the computer right now, but I don't think we necessarily need that battery, so we'll let that fly for the moment. Okay, and then we'll just check and see what else we've got in the back of this thing. Adhesive bandages, definitely good. And we'll check this one as well. Both these cars are actually in pretty good condition. We have pliers in this one here and a first aid kit box, excellent. Let's just go and check the back seat and whatever is in the glove compartment. It's just some pine nuts. And okay, let's have a look at the car now. The controls are damaged. This is an electric sports sedan as well. Let's check to see what the condition of the batteries are like. So this one is completely uh, drained and destroyed. The same thing with this one as well. There are some parts that we can try and reclaim from it, but we could do the exact same thing for the other, um, the other vehicle that we saw. I think it was the coupe that was out on the road. Yeah, let's just, um, oh, the bloated zombies leak now. Interesting. Okay, well, let's just try and see if we can force shove you from this distance and then just stay away from that cloud, Elliot. Follow me, sir. Follow me. We are going to be making our way back up. And Oh, okay. Been quite a bit of damage in here. Uh, damage through there specifically, which is interesting. So something was maybe where the elevator is, quite possibly. Um, I'm kind of tempted to check that out. We'll take that coin first, though. Um, hmm. I don't want to get too close to all of this. Yeah, there was some pretty serious destruction in here. Um, Elliot, can you please get away from this? There we go. Okay, so up the stairs we go. And you know what? I don't think I've actually checked out the office tower. So there is a possibility that we might actually be able to find what we need here. I gotta hope so. I mean, there's a lot of cleaning supplies here, but uh, not what we want. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through this place, see if we can get lucky, and I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. Oh, please, 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 please. Yes, is it enough though? It's 89 duct tape. I think it might be enough. Yes. Okay, let's just have a quick look. Weld, makes your fuck water. Yeah, we need 60. Okay, so the problem is, I think we still need to get our electronic skill up just a little higher because the failure chance is around about 60% at the moment. And over an hour and 40 minutes, there's a strong chance that we will fail. That's a minor. It's gonna be difficult to do catastrophic failure, but we don't have a huge amount of duct tape to play around with. Um, I'm gonna continue searching though, in the hopes that we can find more. If anything, we are finding a large amount of unread memory cards. So we're gonna be able to get some extra um, crafting recipes this way and or music and pictures. Oh yes, okay, I think that's another. Yep, 82 again, okay, that's good. Very, very nice, very, very happy about that. Yeah, I can't believe that I forgot that we hadn't actually been in the office tower here. It is very similar to the mayor's office. Mayor's office isn't mayor? No, no, town hall. I mean, if you want a laptop computer, this is this is where you come because there's been so many laptop computers. Oh, we do have a fellow that wants to say hello. They're currently on the other side of the divider from us, uh, so we'll go we'll go help them out. Hello there. All right, <laughs> and goodbye. Okay, so we've pretty much cleared the bottom floor here now. Um, there are upper levels that we can go to. I think it's still going to be worth us having a look at that though. And it goes up even higher. I think it's probably just the rooftop. So I'm going to continue on. Oh, big supply cupboard this one. But it doesn't actually look like it has anything. We'll take the super glue though. Hello there. We have one employee that was still left up, up the top here. Okay, that is this floor cleared out bar this room here and it's just bathrooms so we'll go up again i think it's probably just going to be the roof 
Mm, maybe not. No, it isn't. Wow. This is, this is a damn big tower. And I think we were lucky to find the duct tape on the bottom floor because the storage rooms up here haven't had any yet. Oh, hello, feral human. And goodbye to make sure that you stay dead. Yet again, that is another level complete. So, up to level four now. And again, okay, I, th <laughs> I think this must be it, surely. We're in this office purgatory right now. Oh, yet another zombie here. That was over rather fast. Yet again, another level cleared. Oh, come on, you're kidding. You're kidding, you're kidding me. You're kidding me, no. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing this again. Okay, <laughs> that's it. We're just going to the supply cost. And <laughs> we're going up. Okay, it's the roof. Finally, we made it. <laughs> we finally made it up to the roof here. Hot damn, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty damn high up. I and mean, we've already got full sight of the area here, so I don't think that's going to give us anything extra that we don't already have. But, geez, yeah, it's... <laughs> that was a lot. Now, <laughs> we got what we want. That is the main thing. But we also got some other things. Now, have a guess as to how many memory cards you might have thought Dusk picked up in there. Because I don't know. I don't know yet. But we are going to go to our tablet PC, which is nearly dead, mind you. We're going to reload that first of all. Then we are going to use SD card apps to download from 60 memory cards. So yeah, that took a little while there. Um, we managed to get a lot of photos and a lot of songs, like a ridiculous amount. And we also got some interesting recipes out of that as well. Just a whole range of different things. Lots of different food related things, but then some very specific crafting things. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're looking at haggis to ammonium nitrate pellets to a thick wetsuit hood, a whole range of things. But yeah, just that's, uh, that's a lot of cards and we can hear some activity happening downstairs still somewhere. But right now, we don't care about that. We have what we came for. We have duct tape. And with that duct tape, we can put together a makeshift welder. However, once we have that welder, we will need some other things. We have found welding tanks around, and we'll also need rods. But all of those things, we can potentially craft. If we can find them, it's that much easier. And at the end of the day, we might not need any of those things. Yes, it is responsible for us to get our vehicle in a really good working state before we leave. But we could also just decide that we're going to jury rig it as best we can. And literally just end up transferring the battery and the solar panels between vehicles as we find them, as we find them in better condition. That is a possibility, but we do need to keep in mind that we also want to bring others along for the ride. Food person, Walter the Catman. Dusk, you still have a lot of work ahead of you. And while she's working, the world grows ever more dangerous. Let us not fall behind. And Legionnaires, I ask you all, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.